Chester County investigators believe they made the first arrest in South Carolina under the state's new trafficking law. Queen City News South Carolina Bureau Chief Secure Speaks reports tonight how much time the suspect is facing. In South Carolina, officials hope a new law will help them end the fentanyl epidemic by holding drug dealers accountable. Just weeks after the legislation was given the green light, Chester County authorities are hoping to make one suspect an example. A Chester County man is behind bars following a large drug bust. Deputies say Xavier Tremaine Kusar Colvin had about 77.6 grams of fentanyl, 19 dosage units of ecstasy, 8.4 grams of crack cocaine, 84 grams of marijuana, and multiple firearms. Chester County has a big drug abuse issue. Um, you know, fentanyl is one of the drugs that are very heavily prevalent in Chester County. Um, it's unfortunate. We don't like it. Londa Pringle with the Chester County Sheriff's Office says the department is doing everything it can to get as many drugs and dealers off the streets. With South Carolina's new fentanyl trafficking law in effect, that task will be much easier than before. We now have the ability to do something more about these drug traffickers, put them away longer because if we're putting them away in jail for four to five years and then they're getting out and doing the exact same thing. So it's it's a repetition. It's a repeat. Colvin is the first arrest in Chester County under the new law. Investigators say Colvin is likely the first in the state as well, since the law is only two weeks old. Convicted traffickers of the drug could face between seven and 40 years behind bars, depending on the amount of fentanyl they had and if they had a previous trafficking conviction in their criminal record. The goal here is to uh, scare people uh, and to, to make them aware uh, that criminal activity uh, has consequences. Uh, this is a deterrent. We want these drug dealers to know that they are going to serve major time uh, if they decide to participate in yet another illegal drug trade. We finally have the tools to put these people away for longer than five years. And they're not just back on the street doing the exact same thing that they were beforehand. Under the new law, trafficking suspects could also receive an extra five years in prison if they're caught with a gun. Guys.